Oh, hello there. Today we're going to be looking at an indie MMO that goes by the name of Greca. Greca is currently in alpha stage, so anything you see here is very much subject to change, as we will see shortly as we go into character creation. Now we are going to change the name of our character to... I already created one character to check this out a little bit and to get to know the game so I can show it to you guys. But the, all, most of this here doesn't have too many options yet. The race you can choose is limited to human and the class is limited to player. Class is not implemented yet. These things you have a little bit of choice. I'm just going to pick something random. And then uh, lots of these skills that you can pick from at the beginning. They are all skills that you can increase in the game, but picking them at the beginning will give you a short bonus for the start of the game. Now what I'm going to do here is pick a weapon, which will be a sword. I'm going to pick shield skill, and then I'm going to just leave it with mining for now. And I'm going to create this character. I'm going to select him and enter the world with him what you see right here is the starting village and y you can easily pedal okay well we just witnessed something and normally this village is full of people that are very very helpful but I'm just gonna exit for now and show you the overworld now the overworld here is something you can explore just by clicking and then once you find a place you can enter it and you'll have the option to enter town or enter wilderness. We're going to enter town for now just to show you. This is the same town as normal but we're just going to uh, go a little bit farther away to show you another town. Probably if we go right here and hit enter town. Now this is a location as, as part of town that you'll be able to later build houses upon, start your own town, and then that is where crafting comes in. Crafting you can create some weapons for one, which is probably the only thing I'm interested in. But for people that prefer to cook and stuff there's plenty of different professions you can enter you can create all kinds of things for your house you can create all kinds of clothes for yourself too so the things I'm probably most interested in are blacksmithing and tailoring because that's the stuff that's gonna get me the armor I need because all I care about is fighting but the thing about this game is it's completely player driven it's or it's going to be right now there's just a start a village but there's going to be factions that can be created by players, for players, and the factions will war out with each other. They'll create their own towns. It's a sandbox game, and that's something I love. I love the idea of a good sandbox game, and I love the setting. The setting is basically a uh, alternate version of ancient times around Roman times or Greek times. So the factions right now, if you look at them, happen to be based off different times so that we have Olympus Sparta all kinds of other things that have been created by players so for now we're just gonna join Sparta that sounds cool but unfortunately factions aren't really implemented yet and apparently I'm already part of, of one of the factions I am already part of Sparta okay so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna head over to this town that we can see visibly and see if we can get a few weapons. Now PvP is disabled in the basic town over there, but I'm pretty sure if we run into someone right now, they can decide to kill us. Because right now there's no factions, so it's basically free for all. You can team up with people if you want, but it's every man for themselves. So what we found here is a storage place that is pu totally public, that someone, probably some kind of dev or something, has left for us. This is alpha, this will no probably not be available for everyone. 
in the full game. In the full game, you'll probably have to craft all this stuff yourself. But it's very useful to make a demonstration here. We're just going to equip ourselves with an axe. Place our basic shield. And let's see if this is better. 0 0.002 and 0.2. I'm pretty sure that what we started with is of superior quality. Now you can just switch out and into combat mode. The graphics are simplistic, but they work fine for, especially considering this is going to be a free to play game. This is not going to be a charged game. There might be some kind of uh, micro purchases, but that has not been announced to my awareness. So we're just going to enter the wilderness here and see what we can find. You can run a little bit with the shift key here. Run through the forest. We're looking to see if we can find maybe some things to hunt or some people to fight. We just want to do a little demonstration of that. I'm not going to do any demonstration of crafting today because that's just going to involve collecting a whole bunch of little things from the ground. For some people that might be exciting, but for me, the fight is exciting. What we are going to do uh. is die horribly to an orc. Because what I did there... was die horribly to an orc because I forgot to switch into combat mode that is something that I hope they do change out a bit before uh, the final version because it's not that player friendly to not allow if, I, if I'm swinging my weapon and I just forgot to switch into combat mode I'll die in a few seconds so I need to remember to just hit F there it's probably just my ADSC and not actually any problem with their d game design but We'll carry on. We're gonna pick another axe right up. I do not know if this is some dev thing that le was left here, or if it is some player that has handcrafted everything that is in this container, but we are just gonna pick it up. Now the game is currently in alpha and there's no real tutorial, so if you need some help, I'd just suggest asking around in the main town that you start in, because those people from my experience are generally very helpful and will give you advice on how to play, but for now, we're going to see if we can kill that orc. I do not think this is where the orc was. This was the first locale we explored. We're gonna head a little north west. And hopefully demonstrate some of our combat skills. This happens to be my body. We're going to pick up what I left behind, which is probably something we should have done before instead of going to pick up a whole new set of gear. But let us continue to we spotted the orc. I'm, I'm out of energy, but I'm gonna draw my weapon. I'm gonna block. I need to get into view here so, I can, so you guys can see. This is a very treed area. I can block this hit. And I was destroyed. Now this game's combat system does not seem that easy after all. We are probably going to have to craft some more equipment to be able to beat s stuff like that. So we're going to work on that and I'm going to work on that actually. And I'll probably get back to you in maybe a week or so if I decide to continue playing this. It seems like a fun little game. You can check out it for free. It's the alpha version if you want, on their website. I'll post it down below. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.